Hey everyone, welcome to this video, and today I'm going to be sharing 10 hamster life hacks that I've learned. First up is number one, and that is just, you don't have to always buy hamster brand treats. Treats like these Sunburst Gourmet Natural Treats um, are amazing, they're meant for hamsters, my hamster loves them. However, they were also seven to eight dollars. However, these baby Gerber puffs, my hamster loves them even more. They come in a variety of flavors, although you do want to avo avoid the spice flavors because um, they're not natural. And I believe these were one to two dollars. Put those down there. And the second hack I learned was just bendy bridges. You can put them anywhere. They're great to chew on. Different textures. You can bend them into any shape you want. You can make them look weird. You can put things in the crevices between them and have your hamster forage through them. They're great enrichment. They make good hides. They're perfect, basically. Yeah, they're just perfect. These third, I believe, hack I learned was the when you get these willow wells, you should wash them first, which I know sounds weird, but when I first got these, I didn't, and I didn't know until I dropped mine a little while ago and went to rinse it off, how much excess dye was actually on these. Um, of course, some people do buy the natural wood ones. I just find these are easier. My hamster still loves them. He also chews through them and demolishes them. Um, but basically, yeah, if you have these, just make sure you uh, rinse them off when you first get them. And then give them a few hours to dry so that the dye isn't still wet. You can't get it off. I actually just washed mine maybe an hour ago. The third hack I learned was this kind of cheesecloth-y stuff. I don't really know what you call it. It's from the kitchen. You're supposed to put, like, hot pans on it. I just cut mine because my hamster wheel was moving a lot and um, making a lot of noise against the side of the enclosure because I have the silent runner, I believe, but it has a metal nib in the back because it attaches, and that would rub up against the glass if it fell that way so this would just keep it from sliding on the glass bottom the next one I learned was um, this hamster safe deodorizer of course you can feel free to use just vinegar and water or any other non-toxic cleaner you should make sure that it is not toxic to hamsters as well first though um, but this is just nice and easy. It is more money. I believe this was $10, but it is worth it. You just clean it, and there are multiple types, different, uh, sorry, it is unscented, and there's different kinds. That was a lot longer than I meant for it to be. The next one is just sticky notes and reminders. When you first get your hamster, it's going to be weird to try and remember all of the care to clean its cage, spot clean, even feed it or walk, give it fresh water. Um, so just, if you have a phone, you can put it in there, which I mean, I'm pretty sure most of you do because you're watching this video. But um, if your phone somehow doesn't allow you to make reminders or alarms, you can just use sticky notes or any form of reminder I suppose. The next one is just to get some of these small little dishes. Um, I don't recommend these for food or water dishes unless, I mean, I don't know if you want to use this for food and sprinkle a scatter feed them. I always do that. Scatter feed the rest of the food. I just use this for salads or snacks if I want to put a little bit of food but I don't want to like leave it out in the cage. The next one is just that you should get some kind of tub to put your hamster's food in. I found this particularly useful because I mix um, multiple seeds and 
I do just mix two brands because I find that my hamster really likes that and it provides enough nutrition and protein. But back to the bin. This just opens here and you can scoop it out through here. Um, you can open this up if you're strong and pick out individual pieces of food. And yeah, can't get it back on. So that's the next one. Mm. Um, the not last one, ninth one, I believe, is just make sure you check the subscription before you order it online because this comes every month. Cool. So it, <laughs> I thought it was common sense until I did. I did it. Um. So, yeah, just make sure you check the sizing of everything online before you order anything. The next one I can't show you because it's in Cinnamon's enclosure currently. But I do recommend just getting a water bottle and a water dish. I currently have that in because I would like him to choose. I have the water bottle near his large house where he usually spends most of his time. And the water dish right beside the food dish because... I just find that it's more useful if the water bottle sometimes gets air bubbles stuck in it, then I can just, um, he can just drink from the water bowl, and although he doesn't drink from it much, it is just wider, but you can, again, feel free to choose. And I think that's it for my video, I hope that was 10, I can't count apparently, and I hope you enjoyed this video. See you next time.